Hi, I'm Mikai Bora and welcome to my tutorial series Lightning Sibelis. Today I'm going to show you how to add dynamics with a single case stroke. This is a particularly time saver workaround because considering that we need to do at least three steps to enter one dynamic inside Sibelis. So this will speed up your workflow in a huge amount. Before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click on the thumbs up button below. If you like my tutorials and if you want to support my channel, you can also donate it via PayPal link in the description. Okay, the very first thing you need to do is you need to download two third party plugins. One, copy plugin, two, multi copy dynamics plugin. To download these plugins, go to file, plugins, install plugins. From the show tab, click on all plugins and write the name of the plugin to the search bar. After you have found the plugin, click on the install button. I'm not going to click on the install button because I have already installed these plugins. So I will click on the close button. I presume that you have already done this process and we are ready to go. Write copy plugin to the common search. Find multi copy dynamic plugin we have just downloaded from the list. Write 3p to the second box and write 3p to the third box. And then click on the copy plugin button. What we are doing here basically is we are copying the multi copy dynamics plugin for each dynamics. So you need to repeat this process for each of these dynamics you see below. So you need to run copy plugin again. You need to find multi copy dynamic from the list. And this time, repeat this process for the 2p, then for the p, so piano, then for mezzo piano, then for mezzo forte, then for forte, then for fortissimo, then for fortissimo. After you have finished the copying process, you need to restart your Sibelius. I presume that you have already done it. And now we will assign a shortcut for each of these newly copied plugins. So we can call them with a 1k stroke and we can enter our dynamics with 1k hit. Before we assign shortcuts to these plugins, remember to not change any default keyboard shortcuts of Sibelius. I have prepared an Excel list where you can see all possible free shortcuts which doesn't change the default Sibelius shortcuts. To have the file, please contact me via my email address, which you can see it below or you can find it in the description. Okay, to assign a shortcut to each one of these plugins, go to File, Preferences, Keyboard Shortcuts, Plugins tab and come to the bottom of the menu and you will find all of your newly copied plugins. I will start adding shortcut from F. So since this is one F, I'm going to add I'm going to assign F1 to this plugin. Click on OK and just change Sibelius help button. At least this is what I prefer. You can also assign another shortcut. I click on yes. I want to add F2 since this is fortissimo, so 2F. And I click on add button and I hit the F2 and I click on OK and I click on yes again. And since this is 3F, I want to add F3, so on and so forth. This was just an example for you for how to assign custom shortcuts to your plugins. And you need to repeat this process all of your copied plugins. And after you have done this process, click on OK button. As the last step, run the first plugin by hitting its shortcut. So I will start with the F1, so Forte. From the list, choose Forte. And from the text position in passage selection, start off first selected note in stuff option. This is very important. And from the hide dialog options, click on hide dialog always button. And click on OK. This is a one time setup, so you won't need to change anything unless you don't want the modificated things as your will and for your needs. To have this menu, you need to hit the shortcut while there is not any selection made inside Sibelius. You should repeat this process for each one of our dynamics. So I repeat this process for Fortissimo, so F2, which is my shortcut. I hit my shortcut and I bring the menu. 
and I choose 2F from the menu. And remember, start off first selected not in stuff selection should be selected here. And here, hide dialog always. And click on OK. And now I will repeat this process also for Fortissimo. So F3. And I will choose 3F from the list. And again, start off selection in each selected stuff. And hide dialog always. And click on OK. And again, remember to repeat this process for all of your dynamics. OK, let's see them in the action. I want to add 3F here. So I make my selection and I hit F3. So it's the shortcut of 3F, so Fortissimo. And boom, just one case stroke. And as you see, Sibelius has already inserted all my dynamics. I want to add here 2P, so Pianissimo. And to do so, I make my selection and I hit its shortcut and boom. As you see, it's super fast and also fun. Okay, let's continue. I want to add here a mezzo forte. So I make my selection and I hit my shortcut. And as you see, I have all mezzo forte with one case stroke. And I want to add to this passage a fortissimo. So I make my selection again and I hit its shortcut. And voila. As you see, this is a super fast workaround which it will speed up you in an immense amount. Thank you for watching the video. If you like my tutorial series, please subscribe to my channel and click on the thumbs up button below. If you want to support my channel, you can donate it via PayPal link in the description. See you soon in another mind-blowing Lightning Sibelius chapter.